welcome to a new video. So today I thought I would do some triggers with some items in one of my prop drawers. So we will see what is in my prop drawer. <laughs> so this is um, just one of the various places that I keep different props <laughs> or things for different videos that I've made for you guys. So So, first off, I have this brush here that I've used in a couple videos, but I mostly have it in my filming space because it works nice on wigs. But I have used it in some role plays as well as a hairbrush, so it's kind of like more soft bristled brush. Like I said, it works nicely on the wings. I also have a makeup brush, which I have used in a lot of videos trigger videos, role plays. This is pretty much my go-to ASMR brush. <laughs> I don't use it for regular makeup, but it's a very soft brush. It's nice against the camera for your guys' personal attention. And it even sounds nice against your ears. my stethoscope that I use in all my medical videos. So this is a real stethoscope. <laughs> um, I get asked a lot where I got it because I guess stethoscopes are expensive. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. But uh, I got this years ago for a Halloween costume at a garage sale. So I guess I lucked out because it was like a couple bucks and it's a very nice stethoscope, it works to check your guys' breathing and heart. So, this is like pretty much the one that I've used my entire channel. I have these yellow gloves. They are longer. And I got these for my Batgirl um, roleplay for last role play month. I did a Batgirl look. And they are definitely longer. Can be nice for a Belle look as well. I could be princess. But uh, for Batgirl, I love purple, yellow, and black together for her look. Goes back to kind of like the 1960s version as well as some of the various cartoons and such. So, have these long gloves. Um, I have this necklace that I wore, I believe, for my canary video. So that was also during roleplay month, I believe. And it's just a black choker. I wanted a black um, necklace of some kind for my black canary uh, look. So it's just a basic black choker. I have a washcloth that I have used in a variety of medical and spa videos or um, personal attention 
care videos. This is my little ASMR washcloth for you guys. Good. <laughs> Even drape it over your face there. So you can kind of see the light coming through, but still a difference. couple pins that are just really for writing um, within the role plays, just making notes on things or whatever. Um, nothing too extraordinary. Oh, these go with, um, they are like fishnet gloves, and this was also for the Black Canary, um, because you weren't going to, in YouTube life, you usually only see the waist up. Um, I wanted to include the fish nets that are so very famous for Black Canary, uh, somewhere in the cosplay look, costume look. So I put them on my hands for that specific role play. It's very 80s, <laughs> but I liked seeing the fish nets in the Black Canary video, because if you're familiar with the character at all, it's all about the fishnets. <laughs> this is my little um, Alex Voss from Orange of the New Black, my um, name tag. <laughs> also from Roleplay Month, a lot of this is from Roleplay Month or role plays in general, but I just made this little badge with Alex and her little ID for Oranges of the New Black, and it's just on cardboard, and I have it like taped up so it kind of looks more like an actual ID, so that I could wear that with the um, beige looking shirt that I got that looks like <laughs> the shirt that they wear on that show, so it's just a little prop that I still have in case I want to make an Alex video again. This is just a little tiny eye chart that I sometimes use. I have a bigger one that I can hang up, but this is just a little baby one. Sometimes I'll just hold it up or have you guys hold it and things like that. So I have um, this is just kind of like a bandage that I've used in multiple role plays, medical or caring for you. Um, it's just a blank little bandage that I can kind of put on you guys or place here, there, everywhere. Just to put around you. This is a face mask that I can't really hook to my ears because my headphones, but I have a box of these, but this is one for either dentist or medical. Used it for both. These are some replacement lights for the twinkly lights behind me. Here is a blue tie. I got this for Luna Lovegood roleplay because she is a Ravenclaw at Hogwarts, so this is Luna's tie. I'm sure I will do another Luna video at some point, or uh, in general Ravenclaw video where I would need the, the blue um, look. It was funny because I got this tie offline, very inexpensive, for the specific colors, but if you put the word Ravenclaw in it, the price like doubled, <laughs> so I just put in blue striped tie and got what I was looking for without having to pay an extraordinary amount. Let's see, so this is like my little, um, you see this a lot, my flashlight, it's getting a little dim, I need to switch the batteries out, but you guys see this a lot in medical videos, light tracing, just in general. 
is the little light, but um, it's actually like an otoscope kit. I got for um, medical role plays. So you have the attachments here that can pop on so that you can look through like that. I don't do that often in videos, but maybe I should for like medical videos. I usually just use that, but I could use this more Look at your guys' eyes or open your mouth and the back of your throat. And there's just these little various attachments that kind of go with it. So I just kind of keep that together in the kit so I don't lose any pieces. funny this is like an old glove that I should just throw away yeah it's ripped anyway before I got my box of like the blue gloves that I wear now in medical videos I had these painting gloves that I used in my videos so if you go back to some of my early medical videos it's like these uh, gloves and I'm actually just gonna throw that away <laughs> um extra light Some paperwork. Let's just see. Oh, this is for my mirror. It's paperwork for the mirror that's over there. Not really needed, just probably shoved it in a drawer. Um, this is just some, like, sometimes I'll make props for different role plays. And so, my printer hates me, so most of the time I write things out. So this is like, mm, what is this? I just write it out. Um, this is for a spa video. So, skin and body survey. <laughs> yes or no, areas of concern, uneven skin tone, acne scarring, wrinkles, dehydrated skin, tight shoulders, <laughs> dry skin, psoriasis, chronic pain, crow's feet, eczema, cellulite, sore muscles, dark circles, dull skin, skin elasticity, sagging skin, sun damage, excess hair, acne, blackheads, and other. Doing the whole skin and body spa day. <laughs> body pain level, high, medium, low. Current stress level, high, medium, low. Medical history, allergies, medical illness, current medications, sensitive to heat, cold, or smell. Any conditions apply to you, past or present? Blood pressure, asthma, sprains, arthritis, lupus, pregnant or nursing, bruising, diabetes, headache, migraine, immune disorder, cancer, fatigue, broken bones, numbness, heart, sinus issues, sleeping, dizziness, vertigo, epilepsy, anxiety, hemophilia, thyroid, and spasms. And then you have kind of the massage, first massage, preferred pressure, light, medium, deep, very deep, massage goals, pain management, relaxation, stress relief, or injury. Facial, first facial, ever used of any of the following, Botox, fillers, cosmetic surgery, dermatologist care, Accutane, laser treatment, chemical peels, dermabrasion, mole removal, hair removal, tanning beds, spray pants. Tans. <laughs> Products at home of the cleanser, night cream, day moisturizer, toner, scrubs, masks, eye creams, serums, sun creams, makeup. Um, let's see. Uh, you agree to avoid direct sunlight, agree to drink lots of water, don't need a doctor's release, notify us if you have any questions. So, this is a spa thing that I made and I kept. Maybe I'll use it again. Maybe I need to make a new spa video. Let's 
So this is a binder that I use for a lot of things, sometimes to write on in role plays, other times I use it as like portfolio things. Inside is probably going to be a lot of randomness. Yes. So like this is just making notes to make sounds. Doesn't say anything. printed out questionnaires like for a medical video and notes on the back of it. Um, activity schedule. This was for one of my anniversary videos um, where I was like having like a party because of my anniversary, my channel anniversary. It says activity schedule. Many faces of Cassie personal attention, relaxation session, and cake celebration. This is notes for um, the general checkup video, a dental history, things like that. Just some other medical things. Um, this specifically was the role play I did with the full medical history where the girl was like helping you to fill out all of your medical forms. So this is like legit some medical forms that I found and I just did for my ASMR video and then helped you to answer those. So I figure I can probably use that again for something perhaps. Got papers back. pen. I have a feather that I used for my Hermione and Ginny roleplay for Harry Potter. Because you need to use the, the quill instead of an actual pen. I forgot I had chalk in here. <laughs> so this is um, just a little case of chalk and a chalkboard that says Calming Escape. I used it for a video of some kind. I don't even remember which video it was. That's funny. That's what happens when you've been making videos too long. Let's see. There's another paper. Just some more outlines for some things. an outline for a tattoo I might get. Um, I don't know why that's in here. Another pen. What is with all the pens? It's like I forget that I have pens in here and I bring some. <laughs> this is a Gryffindor tie that is still in the package. I have another one somewhere that is opened. This was given to me. Someone thought I could use it, which I'm sure I will, but yeah, I have another one somewhere. This is actually an official Harry Potter tag there. See these gloves? The gloves that I used to wear, they're painting gloves. They're all stuck together now. I'm just gonna throw them away, but if you've been around my channel long, these are the gloves that I used to use. This is a bag that has nothing in it. Well, maybe it does. Let's see. Nope. container of money. Play money. What did I use this for? Oh, 
the Joker video. I used it in my Joker video. I've been looking for that pin forever. This is what happens when you clean your drawers out, guys. A lot of the rest of this is like paper stuff, besides these really crappy broken painting gloves. And clearly what I used to use all the time when I first started my channel. This is the uh, windshield for the Zoom microphone that I just use for a recorder now. This is like some gauze type stuff that I use in medical videos sometimes. Yeah, some of this is just like, like paperwork props for some of the, um, the videos where I have to be like taking notes or writing things. I just do that. This is very cool. This right here, and I'll open it, is from my Tim Burton video. Same one that I did the Joker one in, but it's, it's similar to the Sleepy Hollow thing. Um, that Katrina does. I love this. I want to use it again, but I don't know what I would use it for. Maybe a hypnosis video, but you basically spin it and you can see the bird escaping the cage. Does that make sense? I loved it in Sleepy Hollow and uh, when I did my Katrina video, I really wanted something that was like it, so that's the bird on that side and the cage on the other. Got this from Etsy. Put it back in the protective sleeve. Don't want anything to happen to it. forgot that I had because it's been in here forever. Must have used it for something. It's a peacock feather. I love that ring. Mine. Let's see. These are, I believe, are some ink block tests that folded my bad that I made for a video. And I probably use them again, but they're just you know, tell me what you see ink block test that I painted. Just different designs for the role play that I did a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I forget some of the videos I've done sometimes because I've been doing this for so long. Have some clips. And that's pretty much everything for that drawer. That's the main, like, top little prop drawer that I have going. I have lower ones that I will show you. So that's all of it for the top drawer. I have some other drawers that I can show you some of it, not all of it, because a lot of it's wigs, actually. I don't want to pull out all the wigs. So many pins. My gosh. That's a lot of pins. Chop. Is the question if you can get everything back in, right? After you're taken all the stuff out. I think it's actually 
actually more organized. So that's good. Usually keep the medical stuff fairly close to the front or like the brushes, things like that. Stuff that I use, I use quite often for the role play life. Okay, yeah, the next one is all wigs. Even this one has some wigs in it. This is a heart that I got for my Evil Queen Regina video, um, inspired by Once Upon a Time. It's a pretty cool little fake heart here. Fun little prop. wigs. Try to keep some of the wigs in the containers. Oh, see here is the other um, Gryffindor wig, or wig tie that I have. The Gryffindor um, I have this Christmas stuff. I used this in a Harley Quinn video to tie you up because she's crazy. Sounds nice. Box of my medical gloves, as well as the uh, mask, the surgical masks as well. Looks like I have a smaller makeup brush too that can do little details for your makeup. So that's all I have in my little prop drawers. I have lots of areas throughout my filming space that I have other things. There's some props over on my desk, my table, over there, there's some that, some more wigs. Costumes are kind of separated. I have like a chest over here that has a bunch of costumes and things, backdrops, um, and then some more boxes over here. There's like a superhero box. There's some other, some Star Wars stuff, things like that. But yeah, I thought that it would be kind of interesting to do some triggers with some of the things in my prop drawer. Maybe I'll have to do like a wig video or something like that too, like a wig show and tell throughout my wig drawers. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, lovelies, and I'll see you in the next video.